Today we're going to be installing the Ant Performance Turbo Side and Battery Relocation. Um, we're just going to run down a few things you've got to undo, where you've got to swap things out, where everything bolts up and some little modifications you'll have to make along the way. Um, nothing too hard, it's all pretty simple, it's all going to go together pretty easy. Um, I'm going to video as much as I can for you and show you as much possible as I can so that when you install this kit on your car, you know everything that you need to do from the start to the finish to get the job done. So we'll jump in now and we'll start disconnecting the battery and get that out of the way so we can start pulling some stuff off this car. Okay, so we're going to start by coming over to here to our uh, two battery terminals. We've got our positive and our negative. We're just going to undo the two 10 mils on these and loosen these up. And then we're going to undo the bracket. That's going to be a 13 mil. And then we're going to undo that bracket. Um, there probably will be a bit of noise when I undo this um, from my car's alarm. So just, yeah, don't pay attention to that. <laughs> So we got the two terminals off. Grab our 13. Simple as that. Oh, we might have to take him out a little bit more. It's only finger tight, so we'll take him out the rest of the way. go he just pulls straight out and this will just come out and now we can just lift the battery straight out okay so now we've come over to the other side of the car we're going to um, go to the air box there's going to be one two three four clips you're just going to literally put your finger on them and just pop them straight off the top side of the air box and the top of the air box will just lift up now after we've done that we're going to want to grab the flathead screwdriver, I'll move this just up here a bit, there's going to be just this clamp here, it's going to undo him, so he's loosened to pop off like that, bring it back over, and this whole piece will come free. Now after we've removed that piece, there's going to be your yeah, air intake just here, where it sucks in the air from the front of the car, it usually has two um, Phillips head screws in the front. Um, mine currently taken out because I was um, doing something on the car the other day. So they're just right in the front and then you just give him a bit of a pull and that whole piece will come free too. Um, so then we're just going to move over to this side of the car. Um, I'll just grab the tools that we need and we're going to undo these bolts so we can remove this whole container here. Because this is where the battery is going to be sitting from now on. Okay, so it looks like it's two, 8 mils, so we're going to undo these two. I'm not sure if there's any more yet because I haven't actually taken this off my car before. So we'll just start with undoing these two 8 mils at the top of the box. I didn't want to do um, time lapses in this video because I wanted this to be more of a tutorial so I could actually show you exactly how to do this instead of taking part videos, part stop, start, stop. Um, I thought I'd lead just all the way through and um, from start to finish and get the job done together. Um, I hope you prefer that. Um, just let me know in the comments. Um, it may be a little bit of a longer video, but um, in the end of the day you're going to know exactly what you need to do. Alright, so we've got them two 8 mils undone. Let's see if he lifts out at all. Yep, so it must just be them two 8 mils. Just feels like he's getting stuck in the cord there. Yep, and then that whole piece is going to come out from the bottom of the air intake. Just undo them two right there on the end that hold to here. Yep, then that frees up this whole big space for where our battery's going to be sitting now. We're going to move that over to this side of the car and that's all going to be free. So, um, uh, 
I think I'll, the only other piece we've got to remove now is the pipe off the front of the turbo, so we'll jump over that side and do that now. Alright, so we're going to start with these two clamps here. Uh, we're just going to grab our flathead screwdriver, undo the first clamp. Um, not going to worry about the second because we've just got to remove this pipe for now. Undo him enough so that pipe can just pop out. And if we can get a good enough angle, we're going to come down to the front of the turbo where this pipe that we just undone that first clamp on follows down. Get our flathead screwdriver and there's going to be a clamp down here that holds it onto the front of your turbo and you're just going to undo that enough so that pipe can come out. That should be good. Yep. And there's our pipe that's just come. Bring us around. Just come straight off the front of the turbo. Ah, uh, the intercooler. Sorry. The bloody intake and down into the front of the turbo. Now, currently, this piece of your crossover does nothing. It will never do anything again unless you put your stock stuff back on. So you can buy a different piece in aftermarkets where it's just this pipe. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm thinking I'm, I'm just going to leave it for now and just run straight off this pipe. Or I'm going to run my inner cooler piping straight from here and over and then run it down. Um, I haven't decided yet. Um, I don't really like all that just sitting there just for the sake of it sitting there. So we'll see what we can do. Um, yeah, that pipe just came down, undone that, went straight to the front of the turbo. We undone this bolt here and that pipe just came straight off. So um, the only other thing I've, we've got to find out is the power. Um, I'll pop him off now. I just don't know what I'm going to do yet. So this just comes down from the starter motor, comes up to here. So we could run the power straight off here and straight across the front of the car and over to the battery. Or we can fully disconnect all this and just run straight from the starter motor. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do yet either. I don't know which way I want to go. I'll figure that out as the video goes along. Um, so I think we'll start doing uh, the box now and the intake into the box. Okay, so first things first. Um, you're going to need an extension. would probably be best than a 10mm socket. Um, I'm going to quickly pull this bolt out and then I'll show you exactly where it is. And you're gonna, this is going to be the first bolt you're going to have to remove. What this is going to do is, this is going to hold in your plate uh, that runs around along the front here, which I'll show you in a sec. Uh, so that's just the bolt there. Um, I'll flip the camera around quickly and I'll give you a look. If you look just here, um, say if you just come straight down from here, come straight down, the bolt's right there. That's the first bolt you're going to want to remove out. Um, you can, we're going to be putting this back in anyway, so you can leave that there. Um, this is the piece that's going to be sitting in there. Put this show you. So this is going to be sitting in there, and then that's where that bolt we just pulled out is going to be going through. So we'll quickly move him over now, and we'll get him installed. Okay, so you've got this big open hole here. This is where the intake's going to be coming from in here into your turbo. So obviously you're going to want that sitting sitting towards your turbo. All this open area is going to be kind of where your headlight is. It's going to should just slide, hopefully, just straight in. And you're going to want to line that little hole up that I showed you on the bracket with the bolt that we um, undone. We're going to move this underneath. And that's going to sit there like that. And now I'm going to grab that bolt quickly and we're going to put that through and bolt it up into there with the extension. So I'll just grab that now. Alright, so the next part we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking that bolt and putting it back in where it came out of. Um, there's going to be a little clip on the bottom that has a fuse attached to it. You're going to want to keep that um, on there too, otherwise it's just going to fall off. So it's going to have a hole in it. It's going, I can't show you on camera. You're going to have to move it up, line it up with this, put the bolt through it and do it up. So that's what I'm about to do now. Um, so I'm just going to put the bolt in the hole. <coughs> I'm going to put this on top. Now I'm going to lift it and move it in the place. So through both holes, I put it sitting in the right spot. I'm sure that's right away, yep. So that was actually quite easy. Just come off there. Yep, do it up. Alright, so he's nice and tight. 
So the next part we're going to do is um, get this negative out of the way. We're um, I was going to run the positive from my starter motor, but I have another idea in mind. So I'm going to have a quick look at that now. We'll see where we're going to go with that. Okay, so this is what I'm going to be doing with my positive. This is the original one. I've just taken the bolt and screw out of it. And all I'm going to do is I've wrapped this through underneath because I'm going to run this back down and through and underneath um, the intake. But all we're going to do is literally bring this up and slide it in between the old intake. Um, positive, sorry. And we're just going to put the screw between the two. Oh, I have to put that through the other way, sorry. It's falling back out. Oh, that's fine. Then we put the nut on the other side. Quickly just grab my shifter. Now we're just going to do him back up. And I'll bring you over for a closer view to, oh, it's the tank, to show you exactly what I've done. go up until it's nice and tight. We're going to be wrapping this in um, electrical tape as well. Um, but I'll quickly bring this over and show you exactly what I've done. So what it is, <laughs> you can see there, this is the new cord. I've just put that in between the old terminal, put the nut and bolt back through, and now it's just stuck in there. So this is one way of doing it, or you can run it straight from your starter motor. Um, my car's currently parked on the grass, so I can't jack my car up to do that. Um, so I'm just going to wrap this in um, electrical tape now, and we'll keep moving on. Okay, so I've taped up the positive. Um, I didn't really have to, but I put some around the negative in case just the positive ever does end up touching it. Um, so all we're going to do now is slide this back down and through here. Um, I'm obviously doing this with that bolt in too, so there is enough room to move this through. So now this whole cord is up and coming through the intake. So now I'm going to put this through. I'm going to run it off camera because I'm not going to be able to run it through and show you exactly how I'm doing it. But then I'll run you around the cord and show you exactly where I ran it to. Okay, so here's a better view for you guys. Um, that's where the positive comes off. We just run it straight down underneath here. That's where um, oh, here's where I joint it. Oh, I'm going to leave that attached. I then run it underneath back up here, run it along the top of my fans, and then straight over to where the battery is going to be located. So it's as simple as that. Um, that's how I'm doing it. The other way to do it is use that cord. And I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see your starter motor is going to be under there. You just take the positive off the front of the starter motor, attach that cord the same way I attached it to that um, old um, power, and just run it straight up the car into that battery location. Um, so now we'll jump in and we should be able to put the intake um, part off the turbo across and the pod filter. So we'll do that now. Okay guys, so we're going to be doing the intake off the turbo now. Um, I've just quickly done this off camera. I've just stuck the silicone piece onto the metal piece. Um, so this is kind of the way that you're going to want to be sitting. I'm going to show you as best as I can on camera. If you're looking straight at that piece, it will come up and then it will kind of turn up a little bit. Um, I'll show you it in the car as well, obviously. The best way to try and get it right, um, put the silicone piece on the front of your turbo and remove this to you kind of get it in that right spot. But just make sure this is at the top because it's going to be your breather that runs back to your motor. If not, uh, if you're running an oil catch can like I am, it'll go back to your oil catch can. Um, so we'll flip down here now and we'll um, get this mounted up to the turbo and get it in the spot where we need it. Okay, so as you can see, here's the front of the turbo. Um, the side of the box is just here where these cords are just in the way. So we're going to now run this. Hopefully we're going to just go straight from inside, straight out, and have enough room to move him out. And we're just going to wiggle the silicone piece onto the front of the turbo. I'm just hoping that we've got enough room just to get him on there. 
So the current pace just keeps moving. Got him. Yep, so the silicone piece is on, pipe's in place, it's going to run up straight in here, so now we'll just do up this clamp here. Um, we'll just hold him in place there, get our screwdriver, just try and get him on there. Bloody hate these clamps though. Alright, doing him up now. I apologise if you can hear the kids in the background. Um, my sister-in-law stayed over last night and went out so her kids are here as well. Um, so right, yep, he's nice and tight. So I've got him running up, going into here. So we'll come over quickly and we'll put the pod filter on the other side. Okay, so I've tried to give you guys the best kind of view I can here. So this is where that pipe just ran through from the turbo. Um, here's our positive, so that's just going to sit underneath the intake. Um, I've got our pod filter and clamp here. So we're just going to bring him down into here now and slide him onto this pipe. It's easy as that. So he's in place. Um, I'll just grab my screwdriver so I can do this clamp up. And there she goes, there's the new intake. So that part's all done, that's on. All we gotta do is that breather line. I'll leave that to last though. Um, I will get this top piece on obviously and um, might do that breather after we do this top piece and then we'll move over to the battery. So um, we'll swap around now and we'll start doing this top piece. All right, so now that we've got all that um, intake put on, we've got all this bolted in, everything's done. We're gonna start putting on the top. Um, the first thing we're gonna have to do is come over to here and there's gonna be a bolt that holds on your side guard. We're going to remove that. Just make sure you don't lose this bolt because you're going to be reusing it. This is going to be one of the bolts that holds in the top of the tray. So now, when you bring this over, this is going to be sitting on there and this bolt's going to go back in through there and hold this on. Um, now just before I done this, I thought the phone was recording and it didn't. Also I had to drill, drill an extra hole just here. Um, and that's just for this hole on the end of the tray which the car doesn't come factory with that hole. So I just had to drill a little hole here. Um, so I think I'll just start putting in some bolts now. Um, we'll line these up and get this top tray on. Okay, so just while I had the camera turned off, as it's an easy process, I just quickly put in these um, couple of bolts, I haven't tightened them yet. I put in one, two, three, four, five of them bolts just to hold in the top around here. Um, I obviously just sat the plate on top and sat it there. And um, now all I'm going to do is grab another one of their bolts, come down to this hole and put it through the hole that I drilled. I'm just thinking I'm going to need to drill it out a little bit bigger. So I'm going to quickly pause it and grab my drill bit and drill this hole out a little bit bigger. So we'll bring this screw over now, um, put him through here. Uh, just move him over a little bit. Just get him lined up. All right, now we grab our other screw that we started with that we took out of the guard, and we're gonna bring him over and put him in here. I'm gonna have to push him back a little bit just to line him up. Looks good. That's it, that's the airbox complete. Um, we've got all that um, down now, we've got all the screws in. Uh, I've just got to tighten these ones up quickly and then we've just got to do the air hose on the pipe. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, 
so yeah, I think the next part we'll skip to is I'll just quickly show you what to do with this pipe. Um, we'll get that out of the way and we'll jump over to the battery relocation. Okay, so for your breather, it's as simple as this. You'll have your little uh, piece here, attachment. That'll literally just screw straight into here. Um, I don't have a tool on me to do it up at the moment, so I'm just going to sit it there. And then this is the pipe that will come with it. And then that pipe literally just slides all the way down onto there. And once you've done that, the other pipe, I'll show you where that comes over to on the engine. Okay, so looking here, um, this is where your normal your hose will go from here and over to here. So all you're going to do is pop this little piece off. And from that piece, um, the where you connected it to the intake, you're just going to bring the hose over and literally just slot it straight over the top of that and connect it into there. You can use this little piece if you want and put that in there if you prefer that. Um, but yeah, otherwise you can just take that clamp off and just slide it straight over the top of that and that's your air intake done. Um, if you have an oil catch can, obviously you know how it's set up and you'll just have to redirect um, your oil catch can to go back through this hose instead of coming through this hose. It would be on your air intake and then that other hose with this will go to your oil catch can instead of to here. So um, yeah, obviously you'll know how to do that. Um, so now we've finished all the air intake, I'll bring you around and have a look. Um, that's it all done, all the piping's on, everything's complete. Obviously apart from the hose, which I haven't done yet because I'm waiting to see where I'm going to put my oil catch can, which is just sitting there at the moment. Um, so now we'll just jump over to this side and we'll start the battery relocation, which shouldn't be too hard. Okay, so first things first, we're going to grab this bottom piece to the battery tray. Um, you're going to want to sit your battery tray on top of this and put it down in here where your battery is going to be sitting and where these three holes are, bring it over to you, you're going to want to put it down, put your tray on top so you know where your tray is going to be sitting. Um, I done mine off camera because it was too much to try and show you on camera and then just pull the tray back off and I just got my drill and just put three little dots where I'm going to drill my three holes for these. So I'll quickly drill them, then I'll put it in, and then I'll show you it bolted in so you can see exactly how I've done it. Alright, so I'll quickly bolt these in off camera and then I'll show you it bolted in. Okay, so that's mine all in. Um, it did come with different screws. I didn't like them. Um, I thought they were too thin. So um, I just put in some self-tapper screws myself that I had. Um, and then this is the plate that's gonna go on top. These holes on the side are literally just gonna line up with them. And it's gonna screw straight into them screws. And then we'll have one, I might put one on the side like that just to hold it in there. So um, I'll do that now. Um, I'll move the camera around and we'll line them up and get them drilled in. Okay, so I'm trying to give you guys the best view. We're going to take the plate now. And we're literally just going to sit it on top of the part we just drilled in. Um, I can't find my other bolt of this. I don't know if I lost it or just one short. I'm not sure. Probably misplaced it. So I'm only going to put one in for now. So this is just going to literally just screw straight in to the top of that plate we just uh, drilled into the bottom of the car. I'm just going to use the drill and quickly get him in. And I'm going to swap over the bits. I'm going to quickly mark it out. I'm going to quickly mark out a hole just here to put another self-tapper through to hold it to the side. Easy as that. Um, so I'm just going to quickly throw a self-tapper in there. Yeah, so I'm just going to quickly throw in this self tapper straight in the side here. And then we're nearly pretty much done. The only other th part we've got to do is um, put in the battery in here, put the negative just over here, and then just bolt all the battery down. So um, now that I've got that self tapper in, uh, I'm going to need to get another bolt obviously to hold this side in. But for now, we'll go get the negative, we'll put the negative over here, uh, we'll see the battery in and we'll start getting it all hooked up. 
Okay, so we've got our negative cord here. So all we're going to do now is there's two bolts right here next to your um, ECU. So we're just going to get um, our bolt and choose one of these spots for our negative. Um, preferably whatever sides. Oh, it's going to be about the same. So I'm just going to jump on this side, get my bolt, put it in one of these holes and do him up. And that's how simple the negative is. Sit him. It should be that side. So I'm going to sit it this way a little bit. If you find this doesn't work and your car's still not starting, um, just undo this negative and just scratch some of the paint off the car just to make sure it's getting proper contact with the engine bay. So that's the negative done now. So I'm going to grab the two clips that go in here to hold the battery in and we'll put the battery in and uh, lock it down. All right, so we've got the battery sitting in there. So now we're gonna use our two pins and our bolts and washers. Um, all that we're gonna need as well is our little piece that sits across the top of the battery. So there's gonna be two little holes in the side of the tray uh, where we locked it down. You're literally just gonna put the end of it where it clips over like that into that hole. Um, I'm just gonna set these bolts down for a sec. Uh, be good if I didn't misplace where I just put the other one. Oh god, oh, sitting on top of the battery right in front of my... <laughs> just going to sit him in there like that. Then we're going to grab our little top piece, sit him over the top. Making sure that your little parts on the side don't fall out as one of mine just did. Um, go grab our two washers, slide them over, and then grab our two nuts, slide them down, just get them finger tight enough so that um, they won't um, come loose from the side of the tray and pop out, and then I'm obviously going to need to grab a spanner and do these up tighter. So I've got them sitting in there now. So I quickly grab a spinner, we'll do them up and we'll get their terminals on. Okay, so we've got um, that all tightened down, she's not going anywhere. We obviously need that other bolt in there, so that's why she's a little bit wobbly. Um, so we're just going to grab our positive. Obviously these are new terminals, so they might take a little bit to get on. Um, see how the negative goes. Oh, scared the crap out of me. I'm just going to grab a hammer, just give me a little bit of... Uh, oh, it's going to use the hammer to give me a little bit of leeway just to help me hit it on. She's on. She's on. So our 10 mil spin, uh, shifter. Do these up finger tight. Might actually use. See if this fits. It's actually bigger than I thought it was. Okay, so it's a 13, I think, not 12. We'll do them up tight now. Oh shit! Don't pay attention to that. <laughs> That's one thing to know now that you've got your battery on the other side of the car. <laughs> All right, do this one up. Take your little uh, rubber bits, throw them over the top, and we are done. So now um, I'll bring you through, show you everything finished, and obviously my car hasn't got intercooler piping on it at the moment, so you won't see all that. Um, but we'll have a look at everything that we've completed today, and we'll end the video here. So there it is. We've got the turbo side intake now. We've got our whole box there. We've got our pipe. We've got our positive all running over. We've got our negative. We've got our battery tray in. We've got our holder down. Got everything done. The only thing I haven't done, obviously, still is my hose. I'm going to do that just off video myself when I figure out where I'm going to put it. Um, I'd like to thank um, Tom from Ann's Performance for sponsoring this video. And um, 
looking after us with all this. Um, there's going to be plenty more stuff to come and plenty more mods and plenty more videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it um, showed you how to install this properly on your BA, BF series. Um, I know there ain't many videos out there. That's why I'm using this car. I love this car. I love this model. So there's going to be heaps more videos. Anything you want to know, just post it down and I'll try and do a video for it for you guys. So I'll see you in the next video when we going to get this intercooler piping on. I'm going to go suss that out now. Um, and I want to see what the flutter sounds like now with this on. I wish I could do it now, but can't really. But if I do get it going before I upload this video, I will post a video of at the end of this with the car fluttering. So we'll see if it's there or not. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit your bell. Tell your mates. And I'll see you in the next video.